2018 Genesis G80 Sport Essentials, a top luxury contender, hands down. Leave your extravagant auto identification dedication at the entryway. The 2018 Genesis G80 is a fair size extravagance Don vehicle prepared to go up against the huge young men, at any rate from Japan, if not Germany. The sport display includes more forceful styling touches all around. It comes standard with person on foot recognition, programmed crisis braking and driver consideration alarm. A 360 degree multi-view camera framework is discretionary. Its competition is Lexus S, BMW 5 Series, Lincoln MKZ. The 2018 Genesis G80 Sport is just offered with a 365 horsepower, 376 pound to foot twin turbo V6, in either back or all wheel drive appearance. Game renditions get copper trim, Genesis marked brake calibers, dim tail light trim, and quad tipped fumes. They're doing it. Hyundai is influencing a keep running at the champs with the Genesis to brand, and this G80 Sport car should put the setup players on take note. It's smooth, it's attractive and it's effective. The late Aquas may look somewhat dated, and marginally subsidiary now, yet I figure auto students of history will think back on the Korean organization's first shot at world-class extravagance as a defining moment. The full sizer was great, maybe awesome considering its cost was well under the BMWs and Mercedes of the world. The Genesis Mark G90 is stunningly better, and this G80, with its smooth copper highlights, tops them all. It's a BMW 5 Series contender that figures out how to fill new and front line in a for the most part exhausting fragment. The 365 horsepower twin turbo 6 is impeccably suited for this 4,674 pound car. It takes off and moves easily regardless of how far your foot is squeezed into the throttle. It makes for a profound snarl at redline however the ore shifters are relatively pointless, they don't generally get adapts any speedier. Simply keep it in auto, undawn. Like the G90, the G80's suspension drenches up all the cruelty of Detroit streets, however it additionally oversees not to move over in hard turns. The directing at speed is profound, yet when halted there's a couple of crawls of play on focus. It was bizarre, not really terrible lot, but rather credited to the electric power directing framework. In conclusion, Kia and Hyundai have been executing it with their infotainment for some time now and I simply need to emphasize that despite everything it works faultlessly. The touchscreen is great, everything kicks on in a flash and just interfaces with whatever you connect to. CarPlay, Android Auto, the entire arrangement. Taking a gander at the costs now, the base G80 is just $42,000. The E-Class and 5 Series begin in the mid-$50s. The AWD Sport G80 is somewhat more costly at $58,000, however it just barely peaks the costs of those mid-trim extravagance mammoths. What's more, you'd need to get into a M or a MG variant to top the G80 Sport in control. On the off chance that one is searching for an extravagance Don vehicle, this G80 must be test-driven. Screw whatever identification faithfulness you could possibly have. On sale, now. Base price, $58,725. As tested price, $58,725. Powertrain, 3.3 liter dock turbocharged V6, AWD, 8 speed program. Yield, 365 horsepower at 6,000 revolutions per minute. 376 pounds to foot at 1,300 to 4,500 revolutions per minute. Control weight, 4,674 pounds. Efficiency, 17 slash 24 twentieths of a mile per gallon. EPA city slash highway slash combined. Alternatives, none. Geniuses, handsome from any point, effective with the profound motor snarl. Cons, paddle shifters are unnecessary. 